Here is the correspondence between myself and Auckland Council. From February 15 onwards. This includes Rosie Judd, Selwyn Pankhurst, and Sally Woods. February 15 Rosie replies to my last email. Good afternoon Mr. Keane. Thank you for your email. I can confirm our response remains that stated in my letter of February 13. If you are unsatisfied with our response, you have the right to request a review through the Ombudsman or the Office of the Privacy Commissioner. More information about your rights can be found at http colon slash slash www.ombudsman.parliament.nz or https slash slash www.privacy.org.nz slash Kind regards Rosie Rosie Judd Privacy and Lagoima Business Partner My response February 15 A fine good afternoon to yourself Rosie I would point out that it does not matter how many times you stated nonsensical responses, they still remain nonsense. As much as I appreciate you informing myself of what rights you have, I am aware of my capabilities as well as what rights I can exercise, in whichever capacity I choose to represent as. It is due to Alex Calwell making unsubstantiated complaints that caused myself to resort to using face blurring technology in part 1 and your excuse of having no picture to compare to is nothing short of childish, were you unable to pick up a phone, or email me for such information? Or did this not cross your mind? I have stated to yourself that I do not stand under your Lgoima 1987, yet you seem to have ignored this, why? As there is no expectation of privacy and you are infringing on the public's right to record within such a place, it shall be yourself that will be liable, as even after this fact being brought to your attention, you continue to believe, without foundation or jurisdiction that you can control that which you have no right to, I will be taking this to the ombudsman as well as to the media, exercising my right to protest outside your facility and when, not if, when I attend again, and wish to film. I will, should anyone believe I have broken the law, it would be for them to provide evidence of such, and not, according to your West Wave policy, for the accused to prove one's innocence. The uninformed and ignorant mentality shown by yourself and Alex simply is stunning, I will be calling upon the mayor for his input also. I will keep you informed. Should any member of your staff choose to approach me over my lawful actions I will deem this as harassment and take reasonable and necessary steps to correct their errors, as apparently bringing this to Auckland Council's attention has done nothing. To be clear, there is no expectation of privacy in a public place, period, changing rooms, or toilets, sure, but a beach or pool, none, is that clear, do you understand this? Is this getting through to yourself Rosie? I would be happy to accept any evidence to the contrary, should such exist, could you, Roise, please provide it without delay? Notice. Any obstruction to myself while recording within a public place by any member of Auckland Council or West Wave staff shall be deemed as harassment and said trespasser, s, will be prosecuted, failure to produce any lawful reason to justify such an obstruction within, 10, 10 days shall constitute a tacit agreement that there is no lawful reason to obstruct my right to record within a public place, any trespasser, s, will be personally liable for his slash her actions. Note, I am not you, should you refer to me, myself, or I as you, I shall presume you are addressing me, myself, or I, and respond accordingly. This should be crystal clear to you as I presume you comprehend nonsense. Enjoy your afternoon. I shall be in touch. February 19th I wrote. Hello again Rosie. According to the reasons given in your response, Date February 13, 2017, namely Lgoima 1987 Section 7, 2, a, please define natural person as according to Section 2 of the same Act, there is no definition of such a thing, and last I checked I am a man, not a corporation soul, body corporate, or unincorporated body. Also on the information sheet supplied by you to us, on page 2 under responding to your request it states redaction may take place, are you unable to redact any issue of privacy you may have, 
whether reasonable of unreasonable. As you have stated you are unable to distinguish my identity, due to the quality of the footage, whose identity is, as it was only myself and two others within that area, be it distinguishable or not so what privacy do you believe you may breach? Or this just an excuse? You also stated that you did not have an image of myself to compare with, why did you not make contact for this information? Why did you not seek clarification from me? Here is the link to part 5 for your records, should any sensitive creatures have unreasonable expectations, by all means they may make more complaints against my clips, they will be not upheld just like the rest. Great to see you too comprehending the laws around private and public sectors only further showing my correct and lawful activities. Please bring your policies up to lawful standards so as to respect the rights of the public. Note after re-uploading the uncensored version of part 1 to counter the childish excuse that my image is not available, a now fourth complaint has been filed without foundation against this clip for the time, the information reported as violating privacy is at 18 underscore 56, 19 underscore 25, this segment will not be altered and I shall be seeking legal advice to hold accountable those with unreasonable expectations of privacy especially while working in public. Expect a call or visit from myself with cameras rolling later this week, a complaint to the Ombudsman, Privacy Commissioner and Len Brown who I saw last week will be placed. Regards. Mark. No response from Rosie at all. On March 1st I wrote. Hello Rosie. It has been 10 days and you have not given adequate reasoning for refusing my OIA request. Nor have you clarified my follow-up questions. I have contacted the other agencies and await their responses. Are you aware of the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990, Sections 14 and 28, which West Wave have breached? Please give an acceptable reason for not supplying the footage requested. Your reasoning has no foundation thus far as by claiming you cannot define myself in the footage, in the same breath, you claim other identities may be made. This makes no sense. Why did yourself not ask for a picture from me? Why can you not redact other natural person's affairs? The fact I have made this request is warrant for its disclosure. What expectation of privacy did any natural person have within this facility open to the public? Why has Alex not answered my questions around Westwave's revised policy around photography? Westwave's revised policy is in breach of sections 14 and 28 the BORA 1990, are you aware of this Rosie? I have asked Alex that if I take a selfie and capture 12 people in the background, am I to ask each of them if I can keep the photo? According to your policy? How is it that I would have to prove the innocence and lawful activity of my photography or video to a Westwave staff member not trained to assess the legality of such? This is section 14, http colon slash slash legislation dot government dot nz slash act slash public slash 1990 slash 0109 slash latest slash dlm 225513 dot html. Section 28, http colon slash slash legislation dot government dot nz slash act slash public slash 1990 slash 0109 slash latest slash dlm 225531.html Should you or any other choose to infringe upon these rights I shall seek redress and compensation. Notice Failure to respond within 10 days shall constitute a tacit agreement that Rosie Judd of Auckland Council is aware of the unlawful abrogation against the public and condone it happening. Again, I ask under the Official Information Act 1982, for the CCTV footage of the seating area above the wave pool by the hydro slide from January 14, 2017 between the hours of 10 a.m. to 1.20 p.m. showing a conversation between myself and a West Wave lifeguard, I do not wish for any personal information of anyone in any way, no other members of the public are of any interest to me. Should you require a photo and are unable to view one from the 1500 plus videos on the YouTube channel I have already supplied, please say so, I shall supply one. Feel free to redact any other member of the public you wish. Complaints have been lodged against yourself with the Ombudsman, Privacy Commission and Phil Goff the Mayor. 
please simply supply that which I have a right to have without any further delay Rosie, and have a wonderful day. Mark. Then on March 7th Selwyn emails me this. Good morning Mark. I have been asked to take a look at the issues you have raised regarding the West Wave facility at Henderson that you feel have not yet been resolved and would like to meet to discuss these with you. I am currently free this Thursday morning and am happy to come to your home if that is convenient for you, if not convenient please advise times and a meeting place that suit you better and I will do my best to accommodate. Kind regards. Sel Pankhurst. Customer Relationship Manager. My response. Hi Sel. Thursday would be fine, however I am happy to come in as my wife has other appointments at home, are you at West Wave? Or do you have another place that would suit, I appreciate you taking the time to address my concerns and hopefully answering some of my questions that Alex has still not responded to, I look forward to meeting you on Thursday, after 10 a.m. would suit. Warm regards. Mark. Selwyn replied with. Hi Mark. If we could meet at the Henderson Service Center first floor reception at 10.30 a.m. that would be perfect. Kind regards. Sell. My response. Greetings Sell. That will be fine, many thanks, see you then. Regards. Mark. I attended the meeting March 9th at Henderson, where I met Sally Woods and Selwyn which is posted within Part 6. After which I then sent Selwyn. March 9th. Hi Selwyn. Please supply the case law yourself and colleague with regards to the beach and man being prosecuted for breach of privacy. I appreciate your time with regards to this matter. Warm regards. Mark. No response as yet from Selwyn. On March 9th Sally emailed me this. Dear Mr. Keene. Thanks for meeting with us today, we appreciate that you took the time to come in. This is a summary of the discussion for the record. The purpose of the meeting was to have a discussion for us each to present our point of view, which we did, although we had to agree to differ in the end. Complaints are always an opportunity for us to learn from and make improvements, and I acknowledged that we recognized that we needed to make some improvements to clarify our policy which we have done. Alex Calwell has already acknowledged that the staff member who spoke to you in January could have done this a little better, and he is coaching his staff accordingly. We also discussed consistent policies across the council-owned pools, and I explained that some are run on our behalf by contractors, and we are working with them to agree on a consistent policy. With regard to the policy in place at West Wave, visitors may film their own family or group, however if the filming is clearly identifying other people, their permission must be obtained. This policy is in place to ensure our facilities are welcoming and safe for all users, and we will continue to enforce it. By entering the premises, visitors agree to abide by our pool rules and policies, including the photography and filming policy. If our staff consider that visitors are not complying with these conditions of entry, and continue to ignore a request to change their behavior, their right of entry may be revoked, and further action may need to be taken if this behavior continues to occur. I also explained to you that filming our staff and posting this on YouTube was upsetting to them, and asked you to stop doing this. The appropriate method to complain about council staff behavior is by making a formal complaint. If you disagree with our decision, you can seek a review by the Ombudsman, the Human Rights Commissioner or the Privacy Commissioner. As you said you have already done this, we will await their review. Kind regards. Sally. Sally Woods Customer Experience Manager Customer Services. I responded with. Hi Sally. Thank you for your email and version of summary. As I stated in my email, my purpose for attending was to have questions answered, you failed on that one. If I want to have a chat, I will talk to a friend. Point of views are irrelevant, facts will do nicely. I would like to point out my factual position. In summary of today, West Wave is not a council-owned pool, it is a public place and administered by the council, they do not own it, if I am incorrect please supply evidence to the contrary. 
I agree that Alex's apology for his staff's actions was acceptable, and are glad to hear of some more if not better training happening. As for your policy being incorrect with regards to only applying to enrollees, and then yourselves correcting this issue by then allowing photography, but placing conditions upon doing so, within a public place, is still not acceptable. Nor lawful. Being thanked and then threatened for apparently doing a lawful activity, as no evidence to the contrary has been provided, no statement or affidavit of fact from any complainant has been provided from any staff member to claim I have caused upset, and as I stated, if your staff with unreasonable expectations of privacy do not like working in the public sector, they should seek counseling and private employment. As you chose to insult me and call myself rude for filming yourself yet cannot provide any legislation to show the unlawful or illegality to my actions, and I am unaware of any behavioral legislation, given that you are acting in a public capacity within a public building as a public servant, I would suggest you do not continue to insult people with your personal views again while representing the council, especially when being videoed. Bear in mind that for notice was given of my attending and recording the service center to Rosie Judd and for you to think I would not be recording after notifying that I would be, is quite frankly nonsensical. You stated under the Privacy Act, I require to know what section you derive your expectation of privacy from. As to date you have failed to supply it. I ask questions which most you failed to answer. The recording of today will be posted soon, but not to worry I will blur out any sensitive creatures. I look forward to you or Selwyn supplying the case law you were referring to, or just consider that a wonderful story without foundation. What you may consider an appropriate way of complaining, although may help correct your errors, does nothing for accountability, and while acting as a member of the public, how I am treated will be for all the public to purview. Is it the Council's view that I am rude for exercising my rights under Section 14 of the Bill of Rights Act 1990? Or just your personal view that should be left out of the equation? I have given prior lawful notice for all I have done, and stayed within the parameters of legislation, if you believe, absent any fact, that I have not, as I stated to you today, it would be for you to provide evidence of such. My behavior and knowledge is derived from factual points, you have not supplied any clarity towards your own standing. Nor do you have any authority to judge my actions, as stated I am not acting within a servant capacity, and you certainly do not have any authority to judge my behavior. Are you legally trained Sally? To give the correct legal interpretation of the legislature you were attempting poorly to comprehend and convey? Your policy is still flawed, but it is getting better. Is it normal practice to thank someone then insult them, is this allowed in your code of conduct? I have made a complaint due to your unacceptable comments to Phil Goff's office and should you have a concern over your own false expectation of privacy while in your publicly funded employment, I will make sure to blur out your likeness on the published video, thanks for the card though, much appreciated, you are aware this is your professional capacity and not your private information are you not? You did not ask me to not publish my content of your staff, you simply informed me they found it upsetting, much like I found being insulted by them when they chose to engage me with poor training and vague policy upsetting, I would refer them to the private sector and I would refer any privacy issues to YouTube should you have grounds to do so, I doubt very much like the rest they will be upheld. Even though this is only one of many forums I post to. Notice. When, not if, when I return to West Wave to enjoy the facility I would suggest your staff focus on observing the swimmers and not infringe or trespass upon my rights again. I shall seek private prosecution against any and all individuals in their public and private capacities, and or arrest any wrongdoer under Section 42 of the Crimes Act 1961 for a breach of my peace and detain them with reasonable force if necessary as to release their custody to a constable on attendance. I will also be checking to make sure the unlawful signs have been removed and your new policy is clearly expressed. It is not my intent nor has it ever been to upset any individual, should your policy have been correct or your training had been sufficient it would not have happened, and let's not forget, I did not approach anyone, they approached me.
Best not poke the sleeping dog again. To date you have not supplied any facts to back your points of view, as you brought nothing to support it at the meeting. Of course I would be happy to stop recording while at your facility should you be able to supply evidence of an obligation to do so, however none have been provided. This is called a conditional acceptance Sally. You referred to policy but supplied none, and failed to clarify my questions surrounding what I have of it. For someone to claim to be the one to deal with conductual complaints, I would think you would be aware that insulting someone after them helping does not instill much respect. To date I have no trust or confidence in your abilities given your conduct or lack of evidence. Thanks for your opinions on the summary of today, however I will let the impartial witness in the room, my video, show the facts. This will be also supplied once posted, to Phil's office. I would suggest you be more prepared with facts next time you wish to enforce your standing. Your belief or opinion is irrelevant. I also ask what decision was made. For me to disagree with. And complain about. We ended on your veiled threats of trespassing me from West Wave without answers to my questions and I was left insulted by a public servant, that's you by the way although Selwyn's comments such as that's for us to know and you to find out when asked about a formal complaint against me, was childish, it was not bluntly insulting like yourself. Enjoy your week. Warm regards. Mark. Notice, this correspondence along with any previous or future will be published for maximum accountability and public purview, to see what services the public are paying for. I do not accept threats as an acceptable method of gaining compliance, facts might have worked, shame none were provided. In conclusion to date. March 10, 2017. I searched the Privacy Act for Sally's claim of a section mentioning pools, here is the result. I looked for the case law Selwyn mentioned and found only one where a man in Wellington was prosecuted under the harmful Digital Communications Act where he had stalked and posted inappropriate footage of an individual, this has no relevance with what I had done, nor did it support their claim in any way. I do not expect Selwyn to back his claim with fact, as there is none, I would be happy to be proven incorrect if he could. And as there is no mention within the Privacy Act around swimming pools, Sally had also made an inaccurate claim. Fear tactics do work work with me as I am speaking from a point of fact, not ignorance, or unsubstantiated claims. I will be attending West Wave in the future, I will not be approaching staff or provoking a reaction. I will simply be exercising my rights, should I be approached again, legal action will follow, I have been clear in my position, unfortunately neither Sally or Selwyn have been. To thank someone for pointing out a flaw, then insult, and threaten trespass was DISP respectful, a complaint has been filed against Sally with the mayor and a link to part 6 will also be supplied. Strangely enough, while attending the public meeting of Auckland Council at Auckland Town Hall, None of them had issues while acting as servants with being recorded, as it was being posted live by the council on YouTube. Best they all just get a grip of their sensibilities, and if they get upset being filmed, best go hide somewhere private or seek counseling. Both Selwyn and Sally seemed like nice people, 
just ill-informed acting from a point of ignorance without doing their due diligence, sad really.